hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog today is february 22nd it is tuesday it is 9 30 in the morning i did not film anything yesterday just because i wasn't really feeling it so we're here on tuesday to start the weekly vlog and i feel like i need to like introduce myself because i don't ever introduce myself on the vlogs um and i feel like new people probably watch so if you are new here or this is your first time watching a video my name is Danielle and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Mondays I post vlogs, Wednesdays are what sold videos, and Friday is kind of more of a random topic and thing. They kind of vary every week. So I thank you guys so much for being here if you are new or if you have been watching me for since I started. Like, thank you guys for being here. I just feel like I don't ever introduce myself on the vlogs. So some of you guys are probably confused if this is like the first video you're clicking on. But before we get too far into this weekly vlog, I do want to thank Vendu for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I talk about Vendu all the time. It's one of the services that I highly recommend to people who are reselling, whether you're new or whether you have been reselling for forever. I honestly recommend it to everyone. I wish I would have started using Vendu at the very beginning of my reselling journey because it would have made things so much easier and I probably would have grown so much faster. The fact that you can process your items into Vendu and then upload their photos after you photograph and then go list on multiple different platforms would have been extremely valuable to have when I was first starting out. But obviously, you have to learn. And that's why I'm here to tell you guys what not to do and what to do. But if you have been thinking about getting like a relisting or cross-listing service, I strongly recommend Vendu is the number one cross-posting software for resellers. One of my favorite things they offer is actually their bulk delist and relist where you can actually delist and relist up to 10 items at a time and it basically works and you click a couple buttons and you don't even have to touch it again and you can actually sort your listings in Vendu from stale list. So I like to sort it from stale list and relist everything that has been listed for more than 60 days. Another thing they have is they have a little banner on the listings that have been listed for more than 60 days so that you can easily tell, okay, these need to be relisted and these don't. One of my favorite things ever just because it's so helpful and I strongly believe that relisting your items is a, an amazing way to make sales. And if your items are sitting, like they're not gonna sell if they have 20 likes and you've already sent out two offers so relisting is extremely important and Vendu makes it so incredibly easy that I just I strongly recommend to everyone so if you guys have been thinking about getting a relisting service a cross-listing service whatever the case I would highly recommend Vendu and if you click the link down below you will save 25% off your first month subscription and I promise you guys you will not regret it if you don't want to spend the money, you can go to their website and get five listings for free. So you can kind of try it out before you actually spend money on it, which I was skeptical at the beginning. Um, and I actually did a whole video comparing it to another cross-listing and real-listing service. And I found that Vendu was 1000% the best one to go with. So make sure you go and click the link down below to sign up and save. So now that we got the sponsor out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the vlog. Yesterday, like I said, didn't film, wasn't feeling it, but we did go run a couple errands and actually as we were running errands, I started not feeling great, like my stomach was hurting, I don't even know what was happening. Um, and then it only lasted a couple hours and then I was fine, honestly. Um, but we actually ran, well, well, first of all, we were gonna go to the bank because if you have been watching me for a while, you know we are getting married. Uh, if you haven't watched me, you have no idea. Um, but we were gonna go combine our bank accounts uh just because we've been needing to do that for a while um and we were gonna go yesterday but yesterday was a holiday and we didn't realize it until we literally were in the car leaving so uh well I knew it was a holiday I just forgot the banks would be closed so didn't get to go do that uh and then I went to Ikea went in there for a specific thing and then I didn't find what I needed uh but I did walk out with a box that I'm using as our card box at our wedding um it's downstairs I would show you but I'm not going down there um but then there was a couple of things that we found that we were going to get and then they were out of stock of literally everything. So I bought one little box and I, I don't even want to talk about it. I was irritated. But they had nothing. And then we literally went home. We went out and did all of that for nothing because everything was out of stock. And then when I got home, I basically finished up processing a flip lot that I had started and almost finished last week and then finished it yesterday and then it basically knocked out a ton of listings. And then that was kind of it. I wasn't really feeling like doing a lot today I'm a little bit more feeling like I want to do stuff have more energy but it's so gloomy and I need to film today I need to film the what sold video and then I need to figure out what 
I'm filming for the Friday video because I honestly have no idea and I am almost out of ideas. So if you guys have anything that you want to see me do and do a video on uh, besides taxes, because that's coming, I promise it's coming. It's just a little bit more involved than just filming a video and posting it. So um, if you guys have anything you want to see, definitely leave me down below. I'm running out of ideas. I feel like I ain't got nothing left. Okay, I have a couple things, but I need I need some more ideas. But like I said, today I'm going to focus filming is the biggest thing. And then if I have time, I will knock out some listings and do some photographs and more listings. So that's pretty much what I'm doing today. A very chill, just like casual filming day. I try to save filming for Mondays. Like I want Mondays to be like my filming day, either Monday or Tuesday, like whatever I feel each week. Yesterday was also really gloomy and it said today was going to be like partly sunny. So I was hoping the sun would kind of come out, but obviously like I didn't really get super lucky. So maybe by the time I get my Friday video together and ready, the sun will come out. I don't know. I'm really hoping, but that's enough chatting for this morning. I'm going to go ahead and knock out filming do a couple things and I'll maybe come back later if I don't have a lot going on um if I have an update there's a lot of stuff I have to do this week so I'm hoping this vlog is way more productive and entertaining than last week because last week sucked sorry about that if you saw it uh but yeah I'm gonna go I have a lot to do I'll touch base with you guys whenever something interesting is happening oh my gosh you guys first of all it is gloom and doom outside second of all my hair is a mess Third of all, let me sit down so we can chat for a minute. Uh, it is Wednesday. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. And um, yesterday, okay, hold on. It's very dark. We need to, we need like a, we need something happening here. This is so dark. Okay, it's a little better. Um, so yesterday, I did not one ounce of reselling work. I actually ended up filming four videos. I, well, I, three and a half I would say I filmed the what's all video and uploaded that this morning so if you guys missed the what's all Wednesday video from last week definitely go check that out and then I also filmed two one two two and a half uh videos that are just like Friday videos I did a poll yesterday on Instagram and the community tab asking you guys what you wanted to see and I then started thinking I'm about to film now but I just did the poll so I have no idea what everyone's gonna pick so I just went ahead and I filmed all the videos um one of the videos is uh picking like showing you guys how I pick flip-flops and kind of what I do when I pick them and I could film half of that video but I couldn't film like the actual picking flip-flops stuff because obviously they drop at like 5 p.m every day so I'm gonna do that um, not, maybe not this week because that video is actually not going to go up this week. Um, but I'm going to do that one of these days and finish off that video. And then the other video was, um, or the other two videos are, one of them is revisiting an old thrift haul and like showing you guys or sharing with you guys what has sold and what hasn't sold and how much I've made. And then the other video was brands I no longer purchase to resell part two because I did already do a part one to that video a little bit ago and so I decided I would do a part two and I have already started a list for a part three so those three videos will be coming here in the next few weeks um I also would like the tax video slash videos whether there's one or two to go up before like taxes are due so I'm hoping I can have my special guest film that with me soon but that is still coming so if you guys do have any last minute questions to add to that leave them down below because I'm still kind of gathering questions but um I did want to come on and just give you guys an update because today there is actually supposed to be well the freezing rain is back if you watched like a week or so ago we had a big like ice storm and it snowed and everything we're having another one and if you guys didn't know uh I said this in that vlog too that last year we had an ice storm i'm in texas by the way so you guys probably remember whether wherever you were living you probably know about the insane texas ice situation and we had no power and no water and it was a whole situation we're having another winter storm i'm hoping it's just like the one that was a couple weeks ago because that one was not bad at all it was like a couple day thing then it was over uh, i'm hoping it's not like it was last year but you know you honestly never know. The freezing rain is on and off all day today and then it does freezing rain all night tonight and then tomorrow it's freezing rain all day and then I think there's a chance of like snow flurries but I don't really think it's like a snowstorm. It's like an ice storm. 
So yeah, it's going to be really gloomy and we're not going to go anywhere. I, we had plans to go run a couple errands today, but we're, I'm just going to stay home because that is, it's dangerous out there. And I don't even want to, even though nothing is like frozen over yet, I don't even want to go out and do anything and some, anything we don't have to do. But as far as like reselling work wise, I have been knocking out some listings this morning. And like I said, I got nothing done yesterday. So I'm going to try and get a ton of stuff done today. I uh, have that rack to photograph and I have a whole nother stack of stuff over here to photograph. And then I have a whole box of shoes here that majority of them need to get cleaned. I think my fiance is going to do that. And then if he wants to photograph, he can, or I will photograph them at some point too. And then if I get all these photographs knocked out and most of it listed, I will then process a whole nother flip lot. I also need to go on thread up and get a label for that box because it's been sitting there for forever. The Uptown Cheapskate slash Playlist Closet stuff is still over there as well. I don't have any plans of taking that this week just because of the storm. I was actually going to do that today, but I don't want to, I don't really don't want to be out in it. So I'm just going to hang that out over there. Um, I had a couple sales from yesterday that I packaged up and they need to go out as well. But other than all of that, that's kind of the gist of the day. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. in the morning it is friday and i i can explain i promise um yesterday well first of all on wednesday i think i explained that we were supposed to get another like ice storm situation and i mean we we kind of did it was kind of like barely anything to be honest so yesterday my mom stayed home from work because in the early morning the roads were really bad and then it like very quickly melted and there was nothing left so we decided to actually go run a few errands we needed to run because everything was like dead and everyone thought the roads were still icy even though they weren't so we decided to go out and run some errands uh while there was no one anywhere so we ran to costco and let me tell you I have never seen Costco so empty in my entire life. There was like barely anyone in there. It was literally amazing. Uh, we also went to the grocery store and then we also went to Hobby Lobby. We have made like 50 million Hobby Lobby trips within the last like couple months because of all the wedding stuff we have to get. I do feel like we're getting to the end of like having to go buy a bunch of stuff, which feels good, but I honestly feel like there's still so much left to do. Um, yesterday, other than that, I actually did work on some wedding stuff, which typically I've been saving all of my wedding stuff to work on it till like the weekends, but I was actually really excited to work on a couple things yesterday. So I actually went ahead and just worked on whatever I wanted to. If you guys haven't been watching me for a while, you don't even know that I'm getting married, but I am getting married. I'm in the midst of planning a wedding and it is like a, I wouldn't say a full DIY wedding, but it's very, very like I'm making almost, I think actually not everything, but almost all of my like decor pieces and centerpieces and everything. Like we made everything. So it's been a long process but I feel like we're finally getting it to the end which feels really good uh but that's kind of what we did yesterday and today uh I know I have like 50 million things to do because yesterday I didn't actually do you know what I don't know if I did anything reselling related which is so bad of me because I don't think I did anything on Tuesday either so this week hasn't been great 
even though I had so much to do. Uh, so I'm hoping today what I want to do is get this flip plot right here next to me processed so, and then get it hung up and ready to photograph. I want to do knock out some listings. I have been listing consistently every single day, except for yesterday. Yesterday was the only day I didn't actually get any listings up. I've been relisting and listing very, very consistently, which is great. Um, and then I also want to, I mean, besides um, process that flip plot and list some stuff, I might photograph that box if I have time as well, but I have a lot of things to do in the extra bedroom. Like I told you guys, I think earlier in the vlog that we have a bunch of stuff to like go through. So I want to try to do that today as well. We may also um, run out to the ring place today because, oh God, <laughs> we're going to be here for 20 minutes apparently. Um, so here's the thing. My fiance went to pick up my wedding band a couple weeks ago. And as you guys know, I like don't, haven't shown any, oh, I showed my mom, I think. I think my mom was the only person. Um, and I haven't shown y'all, but I told you guys that it was an enhancer. So my engagement ring actually goes in the middle of both of them. And I was like, I'm not allowed to like wear it around or do anything, but I do put it on occasionally just to like look at it. And I just don't know if it's what I want. And it's hard to know if you're going to like something if you can only get it like up to here when you're actually trying stuff on. So like when I'm trying the rings on when we went, I could only get the rings like on the top of my finger. So I can't actually tell what it's going to look like or feel like all the way on. And that ring, the enhancer that it goes into is just, it makes it very thick and it's very uncomfortable. So I don't know if I want to have that anymore so we're gonna go see if we can like exchange it out for a new one just like a regular single wedding band so it can be a little more comfortable on my hand um if not I don't really know what we're gonna do also when he went to pick it up and he brought it home there was literally a diamond missing like it was a there was a diamond missing the second he picked it up and I was just like not impressed at all from the person we were dealing with doing the wrong sizing and having to resize it to a diamond missing i'm just a little irritated with the whole situation but honestly i feel like if this is like the worst of my issues uh then i'm fine i feel like there has been a couple other issues with a few like people and like the guest list but like that's like a given i feel like there's always going to be some kind of something going on with a guest list so I'm not really worried about that like it's our wedding not anyone else's this so that's kind of how we feel about it um so if this is the worst of my issues and us changing the caterer then I'm good I'm honestly good by the way we do have our catering cater we have our catering list of food to go do a tasting with um, and then they want to go, the actual people doing it want to go visit the venue to see kind of the layout and everything. So anyways, there's some wedding stuff and some whatever I just talked about. I don't know, but we'll be here for an hour if I keep talking. So I'm going to go. I'm actually working on the video that needs to go up today as well. If you guys didn't see it, um, I actually revisited an old thrift haul and I kind of went through and shared with you guys what it sold, what hasn't sold and um kind of talked about my whole profit in a whole a whole profit in a whole that didn't make sense uh, but that was last week last friday's video if y'all didn't see that i'm about to upload it as we speak and then i'm going to update my sales sheet package orders and then probably get to work on processing this flip flop this morning and then when my fiance wakes up we'll kind of determine where we're gonna go from there but i will come back later i'm gonna film a little bit more today than i did the rest of the week i don't think this vlog is like super short but i know it's a little short and a little boring so let's try to Let's try to film a little more today. Okay, you guys, it is 1.30 and we actually just got home. We, when my fiance got up, we actually called the ring place to see if they could do anything to return, exchange, whatever the wedding band that we had picked for me. Cause I, like I said earlier, wasn't feeling it anymore. And we went and they were able to do something for us. I found a, another wedding band. This one actually goes with my engagement ring. Like it is supposed to go together, which is what I wanted in the first place. And when we went, the person that helped us did not actually show us all of the wedding bands they had. And they actually failed to even show us any of the wedding bands that were the brand that was my ring. So it was a little irritating. And we just expressed the frustrations that we were having with the people that had helped us previously and the measuring being wrong and the diamond missing and everything else and the lady that helped us was super amazing i am literally so excited about my new wedding band because it matches 
and that is what I wanted the entire time so I feel amazing to have finally got one that actually matched but anyways uh very excited about all of that uh work wise I was processing this a lot before I left going to finish up processing everything right now I actually got my desk up to standing so I could stand and do it um uh, and then uh we may go through a little bit of the stuff in the extra room um later today don't know I'll show you guys if we do uh, and other than that I'm probably going to list a bunch of new stuff I don't have anything to relist I already checked um and then maybe photograph if I have time so that's the plan for the rest of the day I'll come back uh, maybe with some montages or updates or whatever later but that is a quick update for the afternoon <laughs> sized uh sneaker cleaner because it was so amazing so about two i will link the full size ones well i think i linked the full size ones in the last vlog i think i want to say but i went and bought the full ones and i still have the travel size as well so yeah it was that good that i bought gigantic ones <laughs> Sunday. It is nine o'clock in the morning and of course I'm here to end the vlog. You guys know I don't typically vlog on weekends unless I end the vlog. I usually vlog Monday through Friday uh, but this vlog was another kind of just like short uh, not super entertaining one which is just because there's just hasn't been a ton to do and when all I'm doing is processing photograph and listing and over and over and over again there's not really much to show you guys. Um, so I'm hoping next week's vlog is a little bit better just because I have a, a couple things that I want to work on and do in the vlog and I hope I get to them and we can work on that. Um, but I hope you guys still enjoyed whether it was super boring or it was entertaining to you, whatever. And like I said earlier in the video, let me know any video ideas that you guys have. Of course, I'm still going to be doing vlogs and what's a Wednesday videos, but for Friday videos, I feel like I just don't have a lot of ideas. So if you guys have anything that you want to see me do, leave it down below because I honestly could use all the ideas that i can get but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified every time i post a new video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you again next week Yay!